I'm Mark Hallin, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Taking a first look today at the brand new Hannon Nitrate Low Range Checker. Two things for you to keep in mind right off the bat. Number one, this is a low range checker. It's meant to check nitrates between zero to five parts per million. Now, if your nitrates are above five parts per million, you're not dead in the water. There are instructions on how to dilute the sample so that you can test your nitrates all the way until you get to 50 parts per million. Now, if your nitrates are above 50 parts per million, you've got bigger problems to deal with. Second thing to note, this is the most involved HANA checker to date. There's more steps required to get a sample. Now, that being said, when I ran a sample, I didn't find any of the steps difficult. There's simply more steps. And what I'm about to show you is the first time that I've ever run a sample with the nitrate low range checker. I got the box, I opened it up, and started filming to show you what it's like to go through the test, even the first time. I didn't watch any videos, I didn't read any instructions, I didn't get any warm up on it. I got the box and started testing. Here's a look at what's inside the HANA Low Range Nitrate Checker Kit. I'm gonna use most of the items while I'm getting readings, so I won't run you through each one individually. First step, insert the paper filter into the filter holder, making sure none of the filter overlaps the side of the holder. The filter paper fits into the filter holder easily, and this wasn't a problem. Then get seven milliliters of sample water, that's water from your tank, and add it to the large mixing vial. Next, measure out four milliliters of reagent A using the included five milliliter syringe. Replace the cap and shake for one minute. Then add one packet of reagent B to the large mixing vial. Replace the cap and shake for one minute. Yes, you can shake it hard. Then attach the included blunt needle onto the 10 milliliter syringe. Remove the cap and drop 10 milliliters of solution into the syringe. Then replace the needle cover and twist to remove. Next, attach the filter assembly to the 10 milliliter syringe, then hold the filter and syringe over the supplied cuvette. Slowly push the plunger until you fill the cuvette up to the 10 milliliter mark. I will say it's much nicer to slowly dispense water from the syringe than trying to dip it into your tank and get exactly 10 milliliters. Then place the cuvette into the checker and hit the on off button. The checker will zero itself and display C2 on the screen. Now remove the cuvette and add one packet of reagent C. Replace the cuvette cap and shake hard for two minutes. Then place the cuvette into the checker and hold down the button until the eight minute counter starts. Eight minutes later, voila, there's the reading. Overall, yes, there are more steps involved in order to get to a test result. And there's enough steps there that I'm likely not going to memorize all those steps, especially considering I do a nitrate test on my tank once a week. And if you're wanting to get away from reading color cards and doing titrations, the HANA nitrate tester is right up your alley. I am adding it to my recommended test kit list, and I am going to be using it from here on out. So good work, HANA, on the nitrate checker. I'm happy to see the nitrate checker in your whole family of checkers because I use the alkalinity one, the phosphate one, the calcium one, this one is going in my arsenal as well. I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.